XFM. Está con nosotros en cabina, así es mi estimado Chava Show. Para nosotros es un gusto enorme tenerlo porque, bueno, pues ustedes lo conocen, él es actor, él es cantante, él, bueno, tiene ya una amplia carrera en el mundo del entretenimiento y, bueno, pues se dio a conocer todavía más con el show Drake y Josh. Y, bueno, pues ahora está en la ciudad de Puebla. My dear Drake, first of all, Welcome to Mexico. Thank you Welcome very much. to Puebla and Thank welcome you. to 98.7 yes, FM. Yes, yes. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm good, doing great. We are very happy to have you here. I'm very happy to be here. I, I love coming here. It's so much fun. Um, um, I was saying that you, uh, you're a singer, you're mm -hmm. a composer, mm -hmm. you're an actor, mm -hmm. you, uh, you give your voice to anime, animated uh, films and cartoons. Yeah. Spider-Man. Uh, Spider-Man, yeah. yeah. And well, so you're quite an entertainer. I guess. Uh, what, what is it that you like the most to do? Um, probably playing live concerts, live concerts with the fans right in front of you is, is the most fun. Being in a, doing a voiceover, you're stuck in a studio, or doing a TV show, you're stuck in a studio. Um, but playing live, even, even recording music, you're stuck in a studio. But um, playing live and having the fans' reactions and being able to see your fans is, is the best. You've had, uh, you've had like a 10-year career in this music business. How, how, do, how do you feel about that? Um, it's been fun. I mean, I love it. I, I keep trucking, you know. I keep, I, I, it's, it's the most, it's the, it's the greatest thing to be able to come to places like this and, and, and have fans come up to you in the streets and, and know your music and know your, your work and everything. So I, I love it. This is not your first time in Mexico. No. You've been to Mexico plenty of times, times and yeah. uh, also you've been to Puebla before. Yes, I played Puebla a couple a few times, yeah. What is it that you like uh, about Mexico? <sighs> Apart from the, I don't even like, know where to start. I mean, the people, the food, the culture, the everything. I mean, this is one of my favorite places to play. I go all over the world and This is one of my favorite places to, to, to always come back to. Uh, what do you think about your Mexican fans? Because I they're mean, the best. I mean, I'm, the, I'm the, the, tell the, you the Mexican fans are so uh, energetic and and and, and uh, passionate. I mean, they're they're you you could play a concert in L.A. and people are like, oh, cool. And in in Mexico, it's like, wah, you know. I mean, they're screaming and they're so excited and. It's just, it's much more passionate, a lot more fun to play out here. Yes, we go crazy. Yeah, and we're, I love we're it. very touchy. Like, yes, like, we like that's to touch the other people. thing. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're, you're hugging and kissing and touching. And it, I don't know, I love it. It's, it's, it's a lot different than where I'm from, but uh, it's, uh, it's, it's great. Well, we're, we're very happy to have you here. And you're here because you're coming back in November. Yes. We are celebrating the Day of the Dead, and we're going to have a festival. Yes, Festival Katrina. Festival and I'll be playing Katrina. there uh, on November 5th, yeah. November 5th, we're mm -hmm. going to have you here. Uh, what's the festival, uh, Festival Katrina, about? Can you tell us a little bit more? Well, uh, th you're going you're gonna to play with a lot of, uh, yeah, there's a lot Mexican of and international mm -hmm. artists. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of bands on the bill. A lot of, a lot of friends of mine are, are playing, so it's, uh, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. And I haven't played Pe Puebla since... I don't know, maybe 2008 or 2011. No, I think like I think it's been like since 2008 or something. It's been a while since I've been to. Uh, it's been a while since I've I've uh, been able to come back and play Puebla, so I'm excited. No, yeah, we're excited that you're coming here. Déjenme les platico un poco lo que estamos platicando con Drake. Él va a estar aquí en Puebla, va a regresar el próximo 5 de noviembre al Festival de la Catrina. Este festival eh, va a juntar a varias bandas, no solamente nacionales, sino que también internacionales, obviamente como Drake. Va a estar Mon Laferte de Chile también, y bueno, pues va a estar Leona Regui, entre muchos otros artistas muy importantes. Este festival va a estar buenísimo, y bueno, Drake se va a presentar aquí. También nos platicamos que adora a las fans mexicanas porque son lo máximo, porque somos muy abrazadoras, muy apapachonas y porque somos muy gritonas. La verdad es que eh, sí, sí, tiene toda la razón mi, mi estimado Drake. Oye, um, Drake, what are you doing right now? Uh, you're, I heard you're recording mm -hmm. your new album. Yeah, I'm, making, I'm, I'm in the studio making new music. Um, when I go back to the States, I start a new movie in uh, September. I'll, I'll be uh, shooting a new movie with um, Debbie Ryan and Jerry Trainer, who's from uh, Drake and Josh and I Carly, for a good friend of mine. Um, and uh, But yeah, but, but mostly concentrating on uh, making new music right now. Okay, so uh, do, you, we, do we have a releasing date? Not yet, not yet, but soon, very, very soon. And for a single, uh, yeah, more or less? Yeah, we're, we're getting the single finished up and then, uh, and then back in the studio for, uh, for more records, but yeah. You have like four records, am I right? For uh, yeah, studio albums, I think four, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. studio uh, albums. Tell me time, where did he go? Yeah, four, uh, four, four, four studio albums, yeah. Do you have a favorite one? 
Uh, probably It's Only Time. It's Only Time. Y- yeah, the the second record I put out is probably... Well, I, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know. I love them all. So I like, I, you, I, you, I write, you write your own songs. Yeah. And you've been writing since uh, you were a kid. Yeah, since forever, yeah. Uh, what, do you, what do you inspire from when you're writing a song? I, I don't know. I think just life in general. Uh, just, you know, how I'm feeling and just what's gone on in my life and relationships or... You know, I, I I think just life, you know, life in- inspires me. And how, how's Drake feeling right now? Uh, I mean, so we can know what to expect from the next um, uh, studio album. I don't know. It's it's fun. I, it's 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 the it's a totally different sound um, than my last record. It's a lot more um, pop driven and and uh, I don't I, I want to say like dance driven, I guess. Okay. But um, but yeah, it's it's it's. It's something that's going to be fun to put on in the club or at a party. And, uh, it's, and uh, it's all about, like, dancing, or do we have some ballads? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely ballads. Um, some romanticism. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yes. definitely, definitely. Okay, so, Drake, I'm going to ask you some random questions. Okay. Uh, because, you know, uh, fans knew you were coming here, mm-hmm. and they were sending some of their doubts they have about you, so I'm going to ask some you. Some of their doubts? S- yes, they My have goodness. doubts. They have okay. doubts. Yes. Uh, for example, um, what's the weirdest thing a fan has sent you in your social networks, for example? <laughs> Le estoy preguntando a Drake algunas preguntas random. I don't know if that's radio friendly. Que, um. manda- <laughs> que mandaron eh, ustedes a través de las redes sociales. ¿Cuál es la cosa más rara que le ha mandado una fan a través de sus redes sociales? Um, It's not radio friendly. You no, can say I don't it. know. You can say it. We're, we're I mean, for all I, mean, I don't know. I my my fans are pretty cool. You know, I, I I have a lot of friends who are entertainers, and they they show me these crazy text or, or uh, Instagram messages and tweets that they get from from their fans. But mine mine are always pretty cool. I, I haven't I haven't gotten anything that's really like off the wall nutty. Um, like nudity? Yes, of course. I mean, of course. I mean, that happens. But not. You know what? It's surprising. Not very much with me, and I wonder why. I'm like, all of my all of my friends are pulling up their Instagram. Like, look what this girl sent me. I'm like, that doesn't happen to me. I don't know why. Really? Maybe, maybe because I don't. Ha- I don't know. But yeah, I. Um, my my fans are all, all all pretty cool. I don't I don't know. They're they're all pretty cool. Do you have haters? Oh, I definitely have haters. Everyone has haters. Definitely. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. I mean, just call up a believer, you know? <laughs> yes, of course. So how do you handle that? I mean, are you are you a social network person? Like, are you the, the kind of person that's always in his cell phone? Or do you have someone else handling your... No, I'm definitely account? I'm definitely on it a lot. Um, but not not as much as, as, I guess, this new generation. Um, I... Uh, so you feel old? Do you feel from another generation? I think so. I think so. I mean, Josh and I, you know, Josh from my show and I talk about it all the time. And uh, we say, you know, if we, if Twitter or Instagram or this stuff would have been out when our show was on, it would have been so different. But um, that the, the Instagrams and the Twitters and everything came out like right after our show was done. So it's sort of, we kind of jumped on it when we were already older and everything, you know, but these younger kids, the younger generation are like on it 24-7, you know. Um, but yeah, you know, I I, uh, I like Instagram the most, you know, taking pictures and putting them up. And but do you answer and personally to your fans? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah? definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll answer personally on Instagram and or, Twitter. But you have someone to help you or you, you don't? No, I mean, I have people that work on my Facebook and stuff like that, but not, it's mostly me. I mean, I don't have anybody sitting there and tweeting for me or... I mean, I do have people, like, if, I, if I'm somewhere and I'm like, oh, hey, by, you know, if I'm working, you know, at 3 o'clock, tweet this. But it's not like they're <laughs> tweeting for me or anything. Ok, so, eh, para todos los que nos están escuchando, estábamos platicando con Drake de que si él maneja sus propias redes sociales, si él está al pendiente de los comentarios de sus fans, él afirma que sí, que hay gente que obviamente lo ayuda, pero que si ustedes le escriben a Drake y él les contesta, va a ser personalmente. What are your, your accounts? My accounts? Uh, just... Drake Bell on Twitter, at Drake Bell on Instagram, Drake Bell on Facebook. Do you have Facebook. Snapchat? Oh, yeah, I have Snapchat. It's uh, Bell Boys, B-E-L-L-B-O-Y-Z. And do you Snapchat much or not? Yeah, I snap a lot. Yes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because that's from that's for another generation. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I feel I mean, old. Yeah, I mean, Josh Josh is a much better uh, Snapchatter and Viner. You know, he, he, <laughs> he gets on Vine and Snapchat and all that stuff. Um, I, I try to keep up with it, but I always forget. I always, you know, I'm... I'm always somewhere and I'm watching something cool and then I see everyone with their phones out and I'm like, oh yeah, I could I could Snapchat this, but I don't know. It's uh, but yeah yeah I definitely do. So check out Bellboys. 
Ok, ya, yeah, so follow him uh, also in Snapchat, síganlo también en Snapchat. Uh, you were talking about Josh, and that's another one of the questions, of course, I can only imagine people ask you this all the time. Uh, were you friends with Josh, as friends with Josh as we could see on the, on the Drake and Josh uh -huh, Yeah, definitely, 100%. I mean, I know, I've known Josh since I was about 12 or 13 years old, <coughs> and um, we met in uh, doing a Double Dare TV show, doing a show called Double Dare, which was um, a contest show that pit uh, m the Amanda show, which was a show that I was on before, against um, uh, the people from Snow Day, which was a Nickelodeon movie he did. So we met there in Florida. How, how old were you? 12 or 13 years old. Okay. And so we met there in Florida. Was and that love at, love at First Sight? Definitely <laughs> not Love at First Sight, no. Um, I He was kind of annoying. Uh, <laughs> but... But then we got to um, the second season of The Amanda Show, and they had hired Josh to come onto the show. And so when he came onto the show, it was like, boom. I mean, we, we clicked instantly, and we started getting uh, put together more on the show. And then from that, uh, we got a spinoff to okay. go do uh, Drake and Josh. So, so we were friends throughout, even even before Drake and Josh, and even after. I mean, I I talked to him all the time. How old so. were you when you started Drake and Josh? I, I think we were 15. Yeah, so it was it was because it was right before we got our driver's license. So uh, we were like four. Uh, he was 14 and I was 15. We're only six months apart. He's about to turn 30 in November. So. And are you still friends right now? Yeah, definitely. Like you you're always WhatsApping or. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't WhatsApp, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, we. Um, I mean, I, 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 I talk to him all the time. I mean, we, we've, 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 been, we've known each other for, I mean, tw ten year, you know, over 10 years. And, and I mean, he 15, turned, 15 years. He know. turned out to be hot. Yeah, yeah, he did. He, <laughs> he did. did. We, he, he, he worked his butt off. I mean, he would be in the gym every day, and he was eating right and changed his whole lifestyle, really. And, and, I mean, you should see him now. I mean, he looks incredible. Incredible. I, I know. Yeah, he looks <laughs> like, incredible. You, you guys are beating yourselves yeah. in, in that matter. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, uh, can we hope for a re for a reunion? Maybe. Well, we did. We, you know, he had a show on Fox this season called Grandfathered with John Stamos, and we were able to. I was able to go onto the, onto his show and and um, play a character, and we had a couple of Drake and Josh references and everything like that. But as far as a real Drake and Josh reunion, I mean, I think it'd be the greatest thing ever. Um, It would. I mean, I, you know, I, I know Josh would be down, and, and, and Miranda, and, and, and uh, ev everybody who's involved in the show would be down. So, uh, I mean, I, I see, I see the, the other cast members, like, you know, Yvette, who played Helen, and, and um, Jerry, who played Crazy Steve, and I was, I'm writing a project right now with the, um, my dad on the show, Jonathan Goldstein. Um, so we're all like a real family, you know, so it'd be we would all be ecstatic to get in the room again and, and play those characters. So, can great. I produce you? Because, we're, I mean, where can I Go sign? <laughs> ok, estamos platicando con Drake de Drake y Josh, cómo conoció a nuestro querido Josh, que sí, obviamente le pregunté si son amigos y si eran tan amigos en la serie como se veía. Y, bueno, pues él afirma que sí, que se conocieron cuando tenían 12 años. Eh, y, bueno, no, no fue amor a primera vista, pero después se fueron haciendo amigos. Y antes del show ya eran cuates. Después del show se volvieron todavía más amigos, y bueno, pues ahora eh, son íntimos del corazón. Él estaría dispuesto definitivamente a hacer una reunión con Josh, lo cual a no, todos nosotros nos emociona muchísimo porque eh, ustedes han estado tuiteando y definitivamente es algo que les, que les emociona. Ahí está, ahí está mi jefe dándome instrucciones, pero no, no le entiendo sus labios, no le entiendo sus labios. Dime, dime, Chava Hill. Hola, ¿cómo están? Welcome. Gracias. Eso es Chava. Okay. Okay. Eh, un momento, lo mencionas. Ah, claro, sí, no, ya, ya lo mencionamos, sí, um, well, well, we're, we're talking about the, the festival, mm -hmm. yes, <laughs> well, uh, it's gonna be on November 5th, recuérdenlo, el evento va a ser el 5 de noviembre eh, y se va a llevar a cabo en Cholula, es un evento al que van a asistir varios, varios artistas muy importantes, entre los que van a estar León Larregui, Enjambre, Caligaris, Mon Laferte, Caloncho, Comisario Pantera, entre muchos, muchos otros, recuérdenlo, el 5 de noviembre, Noviembre es un evento organizado por Indio y bueno pues va a estar muy pero muy bueno. Está, uh, are you uh, happy you're performing again here in Puebla? Um, yes, very, very, very. Okay. I love, I love, I love coming out and playing in Mexico. This is my favorite, and I haven't been in Puebla for so long, so I'm stoked. 
Perfect. Well, yep. so we'll be glad to have you here again. And thank you very much for yeah, this thank you so much uh, for having me. interview. And thank you for being here. And we'll meet each other again. Yes, definitely. Eh, so, entonces, los, ya se me cuadra pea el inglés con el español. Mi estimado Chava Show, vámonos a música. Vámonos a música. Yo soy Pau Chinos. Te acompañé en esta entrevista. Vamos te quedas con, con el buen Chava Show. Vámonos con algo de Drake Bell. Perfecto. ¿Cómo se llama? I know. I know. Yeah. Can you present the, the song? This Or is... Exa 98.7. Exa 98.7. Uh, this is Drake Bell here, and here is my song I Know from It's Only Time on Exa 98.7. Exa FM 98.7.